Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to pick up on the energy of the yin. That is the feminine energy. I uh, want to see what's coming in, going out, going on, what might be lingering, lurking, what's hidden in the backgrounds. So we're going to see what's going on with our beautiful divine feminine energy. I will. Everyone is blissed. Everyone's feeling amazing on this Tuesday. I will that you all are healthy, wealthy, strong, and feeling very encouraged at this time. Regardless of what's going on in the craziness of the world, stay centered, stay grounded, my friends. Okay. Um, for anyone that may be new, I welcome you all to the platform, to the channel. I will that you all stay a while. I will that there's a message here that resonates with you. Um, my readings are general, of course. Uh, so my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. So that means if it doesn't apply, just let it on. Let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be your story. A little about me. I am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I am also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background, those messages from the song, whether through the lyrics, the name of the song, name of the artist, or even the title track. Um, it will resonate and correlate with what comes out with the tarot cards, as well as what I may be channeling intuitively. Uh, right now, what we have playing is Frederick. And the name of this song is called Gentle. And it's calling your name. Um, so someone could absolutely be thinking about you uh, so much so that maybe in the middle of the night they wake up and they're calling your name or reaching for you and you're not there. Uh, maybe this is someone that daydreams about you. Maybe they watch you. Um, they're at a distance. There is distance. There's no communication. Um, maybe there was some sort of disagreement. This person is just really thinking about what may have transpired in the past, kind of ruminating, pining, very anxious because maybe they've discovered they were in the wrong and they're trying to figure out how to come back and apologize. Uh, but I do feel like this person is sending you a message intuitively telepathically uh, because they know how intuitive you are so that is a means of them trying to have you pick up on them energetically maybe they are um, a little afraid maybe you're coming off very cold very distant very guarded uh, so this person is like gently calling your name. Maybe they're trying to manifest you uh, through some sort of visualization tactics. Uh, but I do get a strong sense of someone really thinking of you a lot. Um, you have rented space, you know, in someone's mind. Uh, you're always running across their mind. And this is something that's kind of getting to the point where they're feeling more anxious um, to take action, to uh, come towards you to say something, to express something. Um, I feel like in the past they could have been, they could have handled you very carelessly, uh, because with gentle, I feel like this time around, they want to handle you with care. Um, I feel like they realize that they were, uh, reckless perhaps in the way in which they treated you. So now this time around, they're going to be more gentle. They're going to be more tender, more caring, more attentive, even, um, this person sees you as a star because right now we have Lupe Fiasco uh, featuring Matthew Santos and this is called su uh, Superstar and uh, what it what he says in the lyrics is if you are what you say you are a superstar um, then have no fear. All right. So you you are seen as someone who is a star. So whatever you ladies may be doing, you yin, you feminine energy, um, you are at the top of your game. I feel like you are really successful. You're succeeding. Um, you're not pressed, beloveds. You're not pressed at all. Uh, I feel like there's a strong sense of independence. Um, I am picking up on some of you feminine energies that could be in masculine energy. Uh, maybe because you were placed in that position. 
uh, because you were dealing with some masculine energy that wasn't, you know, holding up their end of the bargain. I just saw a 444, but spirit guided you. I feel like a lot of you remain hopeful. You didn't get discouraged. Uh, contrary to what some of the individuals around you believed, like they may not have seen your worth, they may not have seen your value, or maybe they did see it and they were trying to discourage you from discovering your own value and strength. Um, but you have absolutely come into your power, uh, so much so that other people are looking at you like you're a star. Um, I'm hearing radiance. So you're radiating some strength, some courage, wisdom. Uh, so that means that you've gone through some really, really difficult circumstances, but you've persevered through it. You've been very resistant and very persistent in achieving some particular goal. Uh, you've absolutely maintained and obtained your full independence. So there was a codependent connection or codependent connections that you have since disconnected and freed yourself from so as to um, take on this newfound power. You know, you're like a leader, a boss, uh, you're standing in that power. Um, um, and you're not you're not apologizing for it at all. I just saw 555 five, five, and 555 five, five reduces to 15. The train is going by. So there is distance. And that's also letting me know, like with that 555, five, five, like you're trusting what your intuition is telling you, what instincts is telling you. So that inner gumption, whatever it is that spirit is telling you to do, that's what you're you're following. And that's why um, you're seeing very guarded, very defensive, because you're not allowing anyone to step over the lines, uh, you know, the boundaries you've set. You're not allowing them to step over those lines anymore. Um, you've made it very clear, crystal clear to people. Uh, what type of time you're on this time around. And so with the superstar, it's like uh, this has really put you in a light where uh, your scene is very powerful. Um, and also you're not backing down from anyone. You're standing your ground and you're speaking your truth. You're standing in your power. Uh, you've learned how to, to utilize that pain in an effective way. Uh, you didn't allow the pain to turn you into some scorned, bitter, uh, resentful, angry person. What you did was you flipped it. You know, you did a flipperoo, a switcheroo on that. And, and what you did was you became the conduit of change. Like you allowed that, that, that frustration anger, pain, toxicity, and, and, and um, confusion uh, to heal you um, because you saw firsthand what you didn't want to become. A lot of you were looking in the faces of your enemies unbeknownst to you. Uh, and we all know the people closest to you are going to teach you the toughest lessons. So I feel like if these were not love ship connections, these were friends that you really held dear to you, uh, even family members that you went above and beyond for. And they may have thought that they uh, tricked you, duped you, gaslit you. They may have thought they bamboozled you. And they also may have thought that they... Um, you know, kind of crippled you, disabled you from achieving a particular goal or, you know, blocked some sort of blessing from coming in for you. And it was the absolute opposite because what you did was, as I said, you, you became the conduit of change and you utilize that pain and you used it in an effective manner. And what you did was you learned to heal yourself, ground yourself. And in doing so, you developed this, this strong, um, you know, desire to protect your energy, to create a more sacred space, a more sacred circle uh, of people that you trust. And also just, you know, being in a protective bubble. We got the system playing, don't disturb this groove. So I do feel like a lot of you all kind of went within. Um, that's almost like going into a hermit mode or going into a very meditative state so that you could get things straight within yourselves because you could only heal and change you. Um, I can can't say heal and change you. You can only change you. And in changing yourself, um, you have also began the healing process. And that's brought you into emotional, spiritual equilibrium, into harmony, into balance. Um, I feel like a lot of you all had a system as well. Like you may have planned this, uh, may have been very strategic in who you were cutting off. Um, you may have really sat down 
and wrote people's names and put a check and an X and like, okay, you're going, you're staying. Like, I just see somebody being very, very strategic in their next steps, their next courses of action, um, not taking any chances uh, because your time now is valuable. It's like currency and you're not wasting it anymore because maybe some of you all wasted enough time on people who were undeserving. So now you're not... Um, allowing anyone to disturb your peace, uh, not to disturb your peace of mind. Uh, and it's because you're in a very protective bubble. You have created a sacred space and you are in a very um, introspective and reflective space at this time energy at this time. Uh, so you ladies are really about your business right now. Um, I feel, as I said, a lot of you are in that masculine energy. So you could be really like um, trying to make some things happen. So some of you all could be working extra hours, overtime, creating. Uh, you could be really like taking care of many responsibilities at one time. There's a lot of moving pieces, a lot of um, responsibilities uh, that you have at this time. 1010 on the clock, I just saw 1046. So I do feel like there were a lot of, of, of completions of karmic cycles, karmic lessons, and you have come full circle. And when you come full circle, that is literally saying that you have evolved, you've ascended, you've grown, you've matured, there's been some leveling up, you've gradually uh, transformed. There's been some major rebirth or uh, change in your life. And now you are um, coming out of that cycle, uh, you know, functioning from a higher perspective, uh, from an, an, a more evolved perspective, having a deeper, more profound uh, understanding of yourself. Um, and as you understand yourself, you're less susceptible to falling victim of what people external to you have to say, uh, what they're doing. Um, you don't have any triggers that anyone could pull. Um, you don't have any buttons that anyone could push. Uh, so you're in control. And so I feel like that's why now uh, there is this sense that you are um, in your power. You know, you're in your power right now. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. That's what I'm picking up intuitively. Um, so as I said, this is a general read. Uh, this is also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, that is a, the exact and divine time that the universe meant for you to do so. So let's go ahead. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Asheo. All right. So let's go ahead. You know me. If you've been here before, I like to start off with the numerology deck. Give my cards a bang, bang, boogie. See what we got on the bottom of the deck. We have 81 leadership. So you all are absolutely taking on that position of being very much in control of your life, in control of the direction that you are taking your life. So I do feel like there was a sense of you being in a codependent connection or a codependent relationship where someone was trying to be um, overbearing or someone was overbearing. Someone was uh, kind of like, you know, my way or the highway, trying to um, manipulate you to get what they wanted out of you. But I feel now this is the change that you have since made. The 81 reduces to nine. Nine is the highest number of change. I feel like a lot of you are back in harmony with your higher self. We have Tosh Sultana and the name of this song is called Synergy. So you all are back in harmony, back in equilibrium with yourself. So it's because now the changes you've made whilst 
in the hermit mode, whilst in that introspective, that reflection eternal space where you had to do some self-analysis, some deep dives, doing those internal self audits. Now you've discovered that this is who you have to always step out into the world as, as a leader. You cannot allow yourselves to be led because I feel like a lot of you all were being led by sheep. Uh, you were being led by vultures, people who were opportunists, people who had ulterior motives. Um, and I feel like now you're owning your power. Now you are in a space where you're more ambitious, you're more determined, you're fearless, and you're going after what you want. So this is a very beautiful energy. And um, so let's see what we got on the split. And we have forgiveness here. So just as I said, you had to learn to not project, you know, uh, you, you, when you are in a space where you're healing, a lot of people uh, begin to make excuses for some of the things that has happened. I feel like you all didn't do that uh, because when you make ex excuses or you don't take onus or accountability, um, you are more susceptible to repeating that, um, that, that lesson because you are not learning that you are not a victim. You're never the victim. You're your students and your teachers. So I feel in that moment where you had to learn that lesson, you were being taught something valuable from that karmic or from those karmic family members, friends, whomever universe, source, spirit, the divine, most high brought into your life. It was absolutely a teachable moment. And many of you, of course, initially, you're going to feel the pain. You're going to feel, you know, the anger. Um, you're going to even feel betrayed deceived but I feel like the longer you sat in hermit mode and the longer you realize uh, that you are always in control and that you're not going to uh, submit your will to another person again that's when the aha the light bulb moment went off like okay so if I'm always in control and I am not to give give me one moment my apologies that was my sunshine so, yes. So as you forgive yourselves, this allows you to, you know, um, show compassion to those who may have hurt you, betrayed you. This is what a true leader, a true boss does. They don't make excuses and they don't play the victim. What they do is they become the victors. And so as you learned a lesson, the more you uh, took onus, as I said, and accountability, the more you were able to heal, the more you were able to receive the divine downloads to heal from certain things that were keeping you captive, perhaps in a, a mindset, you know, a per particular behavior, um, a habit, an ideology. Um, and, and when you are honest with yourself, then you can free yourself. You free your dome. Nine is the highest number of change. So you had to, you had to change yourself through healing yourself. That's why you're now in the space of being that leader, that boss. And now also with this, you know, forgiveness, I feel like you are more for forgiving of people because you know that people know not what they do. You know, a lot of people are products of their environment. Um, a lot of people are taught, you know, they're, they're mis, you know, um, they're, they're misinformed, you know? And so if someone was not reared by, you know, say for instance, someone was raised, if a masculine was raised without a father, well, you know that they are carrying around some baggage about having an absentee father and they could have picked up some bad habits, um, belief systems, ideologies along the way. Um, they may perceive women in a certain light or they may feel like, you know, um, it isn't their duty perhaps to, to uh, be emotional and to be vulnerable. They feel like that is a very feminine energy, uh, but they don't realize, you know, that there's a balance that is required. You have to be in touch and in tune with both your masculine and feminine side in order to have that equilibrium and that balance. And so I do feel like that's why I was picking up on a lot of you feminine energies. You had to pick up where that masculine was lacking because they didn't fully understand their role as a masculine. So that's just what I'm picking up on. All right. So right now we have J. Cole and this is called Love Yours. So I feel like that's what you all started to do. You started to love yourselves. That's what self-care is. Self, you know, self-care, self, -care, self 
knowing your self-worth love is an inside job so you had to love you if you were in relationships or connections with people who didn't value you or you know appreciate you in that light your job was to love you 1919 10 10 so that's why something had to end but everything um you know every ending denotes a new beginning so something has obviously come full circle and i feel like it's because you began to love yourself and this is a really beautiful song. This album was really um, powerful. One of my favorites. So we have on the bottom of the deck, Pride, 19. So that's an ego death. 19 has come out several times in the last couple of readings. There's a lot of ego, a lot of pride, a lot of stubbornness. You know, this is that energy of, you know, that, that uh, person that was trying to be controlling you know, not willing to give up the control, not willing to, to, you know, have that give and take. This is somebody that wanted to fully be in control. Um, and I feel like you allowed for this energy uh, to control you for as long um, as you could stand it. And then you finally started to wake up to the fact that you had to love yourself. As I said, love is an inside job. You're not going to have somebody like this come around if they don't feel like they can get away with the breadcrumbing, the gaslighting, the manipulating. There's something that was within you uh, that made someone or several people feel like they could take you for granted or they could mistreat you. And I feel like you finally uh, woke up. You know, and, and with this 19 pride, I feel like somebody is finally having that wake up call or that ego death, I should say, because you now have a strong and profound love of yourself. As I was saying earlier, with the gentle calling your name, this person is in heavy, heavy thought of you, heavy thought of the relationship, uh, realizing they mistreated you, realizing they um, didn't honor you because now they're seeing you as a star. They're realizing you're the one that got away, perhaps. Um, and we got uh, Ara, Amela Rose singing Brave Bird. So they do see you braving your light. They also are trying to muster up the strength um, to come towards you because they know that they was uh, they mistreated you. They didn't value you. And I feel like in, in their mistreatment of you, it kind of led you on the journey and path to, to loving yourselves and ultimately discovering um, what your love language is, what your value is, what your worth is. And, and that's why this person is now looking at you as a star because they know all the bull crap they put you through and they're like dang they survived that and they're standing on their own and they doing their thing and they looking good and they're juggling x y and z and they got this popping and they go it's like they're looking at you like damn how come i didn't see this in that that you know that divine feminine how come i didn't water that seed you know it was like they was trying to stunt your growth in some way but it's because of their own shortcomings this had nothing to do with you this was their own shortcomings as i said i'm picking up on a masculine energy that didn't have a masculine energy in their life so they were raised without a father or raised without the you know, those morals and principles, um, you know, that a healthy masculine would um, pick up, you know, so this person kind of like learned what they did from the streets, you know, from society, you know, maybe even from movies and music, you know, artists, you know, it's like they didn't really have it, you know, firsthand in the household. And so they had to let some of this pride and ego go in order to really see you as who you were. And what they see you as is, is someone who's very free. Um, you have taken your power back. You're being your authentic selves unapologetically. Uh, you're not fearless. You're not walking around, uh, superficial uh, you're walking around in your authenticity and that is very attractive to this person so much so that they want to double back around they want to come back around uh, but I do feel like there is fears associated with this because they know how they treated you we have 74 here nature so this is somebody that does feel like you know you are just very um just very down to earth, uh, very beautiful. Um, they could also feel like you are perhaps their twin. 
uh, you know, their soulmate. You're someone very special to them. Some of you could have been born in 1974. Um, some of you could have been born on the 11th day, on the 19th day, on the 10th day, the first day, or the ninth day, the seventh day, or the fourth day. Some of you all, your life path number could be seven, four, one, or nine. Um, I definitely feel like some of you all could have, um, you know, you could have had, because uh, I see 1974, uh, which is why I said 1974, you could have been born in the year of 1974. But I also feel some of you were born in the year of um, the Chinese Zodiac Tiger. Uh, so you all could, you know, potentially be um, born in that that year of the tiger. But I feel like you're braving your light or this person is trying to be brave to approach you, trying to be brave um, to come toward you. Uh, they just feel this natural attraction. Remember, we had synergy playing by Tosh Sultana. Um, so I am feeling like this person does feel some sort of chemistry, um, synergy and with 74, that breaks down to 11. So that's usually, you know, that's the number that is associated with like the twin flame, that cosmic companion, um, you know, that, that divine masculine. Uh, so this is a beautiful energy. So there's something very natural, very organic about you ladies, about you feminine energy. Maybe you all wear your hair naturally. Um, you know, maybe you have a very, um, maybe you have locks, maybe you have like a short, uh, coiled cut. Maybe you wear your hair braided. Um, maybe you are just someone who has naturally curly hair and you just wear it. You just wash and go. Um, maybe some of you all are all natural you know you just you're just naturally very beautiful um a la natural maybe you are uh one of the you know a vegan you know you're very mindful of like what you're eating and what you're ingesting so you could be like somebody who's a yogi you like to be out in nature um maybe you all are um just very connected to mother nature. Maybe you are um, earth signs. I'm getting strong earth energy from this as well. But I do feel like there's a, a strong connectedness that you have with mother Gaia, a strong connectedness, you know, that you have uh, very grounded energy. They feel like you ground them. You know, they feel like your energy is very healing, very nurturing, very loving. So this is beautiful. So let's see what we got. What's coming in for our beautiful divine feminine, the yin energy may have a message of love and light. And so we got Prodigy, um, Rising Power King. This is called As If. All right. And so we have teaching and learning. What did I say about teaching and learning? So you are both the student and the teacher at the same time, unbeknownst to you. So you all have been teaching someone as well as learning from whomever you had to learn your valuable lessons from. You know, so this 12, this is 57, that's 12, that's three. So you are in your divine feminine energy, absolutely. That's what's making you very attractive. That's what's making someone have this ego death because a divine feminine doesn't chase anything. She attracts. And so you all are attracting someone. And it's almost as if you're saying, you know, because the name of this song is as if. It's like you're, you're literally saying without saying like, you know, imagine me chasing you as if I'm not the divine feminine. Imagine me you know, crying over you as if I can't just get whatever it is I want because you're at the divine feminine energy, like you're the conduits of change. Your divinity is to create, is to birth new ideas, is to birth new realities. You are very beautiful, very abundant, very powerful, all of the aforementioned. And so now this is like, you don't have to do much to get what you want. Your master manifestors, your co-creators with source. Someone is, has no choice but to let go of this ego and this pride because they realize that that's not doing them any good. It's only hurting them. It's only blocking them from what they truly desire. And so in return, they're learning from you. They're watching you from a distance um, and they're wanting to come towards you because this passion, this fire, this desire is starting to implode. It's starting to intensify within them. And they're starting to see perhaps even the errors in their ways. Um, we have the black blackbirds. This is called mysterious vibes. So they love this, that you have a mystique, a certain mystique about you. There's a mysterious element element about you that is very intriguing, very alluring. And this person is ready to come toward you. Um, if you look at the album cover, these gentlemen look to be like in a relay race, like they are about to like run towards whatever. So it looks like they're about to take, you know, take some sort of action to come toward you and look at that. I didn't even see the word action. 
So look up at the right corner. That would be my right, your left, I believe. Do you see that right here? It says action. I don't know if you can see that because of all of the... But anyway, the name of the album is Action. I didn't even see that. So they're about to take action. They're about to come towards you because this is an irresistible energy, you know, and we already had synergy. So they do feel a strong synergy, chemistry, connectivity to you. We have completion. So you've completed a cycle. And this is another reason why your divine masculine can come in. Maybe they're wrapping up a cycle as well, because as you were learning, you know, and growing and evolving, someone was learning from you. And so you could have very well activated or triggered your divine masculine to wrap up their karmic cycles and lessons as well. Um, so this is definitely a very profound connection. I see 29, 29 on the clock. That's 11, 11, just as I said. So you have a divine masculine coming in. 11 is, as I said, associated with that um, twin flame that cosmic companion and whatever they was doing, you know, was stunting, you know, the, the relationship stunting the growth. I feel everything happens in divine time and in divine order as well. So there was some, you know, some healing, some growing, you know, and some changing, you know, some maturing that someone had to do before they could come in and take action because that's what you was on. That's the type of time y'all was on. Y'all was, y'all was on some leveling up like ascension growth that divine feminine doesn't play. And so you're not going to sit around and waste time with anything that doesn't honor your value or honor you um, in the way you deserve. And so we have domestic harmony, 46. So you absolutely have someone that wants to have, you know, that happy house, happy spouse vibrations with you. This is somebody that's really trying to um, get themselves together, get themselves in order. Because if you look, both of these numbers are 10. You know, and remember, I saw 10, 10 on the clock. So there was definitely someone going through some sort of karmic lessons. I feel you've wrapped up a cycle and, you know, everything is now coming around, you know, full circle. This is almost like spirit is saying this is a destiny type of connection. There was a lot of healing, growing, maturing that was necessary. And now someone is going to take action because whatever they were working on, they've reached the uh, end of that cycle. They've learned the lesson. And that's why they have in this ego death because they realize the immaturity, you know, um, the immature way, I should say, that they were acting, you know, and so with this domestic harmony at the 10, I feel like this person is now, you know, because that 10 reduces to one. So there's an ending. So if they were in a partnership or a karmic relationship or some sort of connection with another person that has since ended, they've completed that cycle. And now that ending is a new beginning with you. This is someone that has realized that you know, they have a stronger uh, attraction, a stronger chemistry towards you, and they are truly wanting to make this work. Uh, they want the harmony. You know, they want that connectivity with you. Uh, and I do feel deep down this person may feel like this is um, it's destined to be. This is someone that feels is absolutely destined. And so we have on the bottom of the deck synchronicity. I can't make this up. 87 reduces to 15. That's six. This is a past love. This could be a past love, someone that you are familiar with, um, someone that could have been, you know, someone you dated. Um, I don't feel that this was any karmic ex. Uh, I feel this was potentially like someone you were dating, someone you uh, were getting to know, someone you were in the very beginning stages with, but you both had some, you know, residual situations going on with your karmics, with your exes, um, people you were with for long periods of time. I feel the both of you all were in relationships that could have, uh, you know, lasted for about 10 years or maybe uh, even longer than the 10. Um, but they were long. You put, you put a lot of time, energy uh, into those connections. And that's why it was very necessary uh, for there to be a completion of those karmic lessons. Uh, so as to learn whatever it was spirit was trying to teach you. But with this 87, I do feel like there's a lot of downloads, divine interventions that some of you all are starting to pick up on more. Um, maybe you're seeing a lot of synchronicities and numbers. Uh, maybe you're starting to see certain animal totems. Maybe you're hearing certain songs, certain lyrics. Uh, maybe there's certain sensations you're picking up on. Maybe you're waking up at a certain time of the day. But there is a strong sense that you all are uh, very amplified 
three, 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 three on the clock, and that's 12, that's three. That's because you have absolutely come into your power as that divine feminine energy. You have taken on the full divinity of the divine feminine. So you are, you've reached that level of self-mastery. And we have Lisa Lisa and the cult jam singing, I wonder if I take you home. So there is someone here that really desires to build like a home really desires to, you know, I heard lavish you, like they want to lavish and ravish you. So maybe you live in a very lavish home, you live a lavish lifestyle, you know, because you are someone who's very independent, very uh, self-sufficient. So maybe this person wants to visit your home. And when they do visit your home through your invite, it's like, they're going to look at your home and like, dang, like you have a very, you know, beautiful home, very comfortable sanctuary. They feel very at home very at peace um it's just a very very uh inviting space um but this is someone that does send you messages telepathically also because i was picking up on someone who was really trying to communicate with you on a, a spiritual level on a psychic level because they know how intuitive you are especially as this divine fe um, feminine energy and so they're they're trying to send you messages because they know you'll pick up on it energetically so let's see what we got coming and going out going on what is the outcome for our divine feminine the yin energy spirit get a message of love and light from my divine feminines thank you spirit a message of love and light for my divine feminines and we have healing here a lot of healing going on healing on both sides because you begin to mirror your person as well and we got compassion. And remember, we saw forgiveness in the beginning of the reading. And for you to have forgiveness, you have to show compassion. Compassion is just really simply not judging another person um, for their misdeeds, their actions, for what they did in the past. You know, so this is someone who uh, very well with the compassion being nine, nine, I do feel like you both are uh, mirroring one another in that regard. Uh, and remember, we did see um, uh I can't remember what we saw, but it's okay. But yeah, so this 9-9 nine, nine compassion, that's about you really showing forgiveness, not really judging um, the situation. 6-6 six, six healing is on the bottom of the deck. So this shows the work that the both of you did. Uh, that's why teaching and learning came out. That's why you're in, you know, you're seen as that, that divine feminine, someone who has reached that level of self-mastery, someone who is in self-control, who has that self-control. Uh, self so let's see... Um, what we get from we get a couple of messages from the romantic um, angels and so are the romance angels it says worth waiting for so somebody has been waiting for you and what it says divine timing see that is at play in your love life is at work in your love life so this is definitely was a circumstance where the look at that soulmate I can't make this up so there was a lot of work that was necessary, you know, that was needed. As we could see, both of you needed to heal. There was some healing that was required. That's why I was saying, like, karmics come to, into your life for a reason. And it is to teach you valuable lessons. You are meant to go through those lessons uh, to learn, you know, to be better, you know, uh, individuals for yourselves first. Like, you have to learn to love you. If you're operating in a space where you are um, traumatized from childhood or some brokenness in your family dynamic, um, some, some toxicity in your family dynamic, then it's going to spill over in your relationships, your love ships. And I feel like that's why that karmic came into your life because it was, they were brought into your life to help you to, to, begin that journey of self-discovery and so the soulmate now has received the call they're realizing um that this connection is absolutely worth them coming back to claim you because they feel like you're the one this is someone that feels you're the yin to their yang um this is someone that they feel they have a strong synergy chemistry with you so divine spirit of love and light what is coming in for our yin energy may I have a message of love and light divine spirit A message of love and light. My spirit of love and light. Message of love and light for our beloved. Yin energy. The collective yin energy. 
All right, I heard one more, and we're going to cut the deck. Ah, shade. So we have, and I just saw 38.38 on the clock. So that's 11.11 again. It's the second time I saw 11.11. So that is telling me absolutely, just like the card said, soulmate. Soulmate could be like, again, you know, twin flame, cosmic companion, kindred spirit. And so we have here trust and it says the situation is calling for you to have trust. So look at that. This is what this person was lacking. They were lacking the trust. They couldn't trust themselves. They couldn't trust you. And a lot of it is because, as I said, their ego was out of control. You know, this was somebody who was very stubborn, didn't want to give in. They couldn't trust you because they don't allow themselves to be vulnerable. So they had to heal from whatever past pains that brought them to this space of not being able to trust a relationship or trust another individual. Maybe they didn't grow up with their mothers. Maybe they have an estranged relationship with their mothers. 39-39 is six. So this is somebody who's now learning to, you know, trust their own intuition, their inner gumption. This is somebody that you have moved away from, left behind, and this person is desiring you. This person left because you couldn't trust yourselves with this person either. Um, maybe trust was a huge factor in this because when someone is operating from a space of ego, pride, and stubbornness, it's very hard for you to be open and receptive to that energy uh, because this person is not opening themselves up to you. So I do feel like with that six, that shows that you kind of moved away because it was more work than it was, you know, than, than um, you were willing to uh, put up with. And uh, if someone isn't going to meet you halfway, then it's like you're doing all the work anyway. So we got R. Kelly singing you to be happy. We have passion here. And what did I say about somebody having passion for you? And this is because you're in this very attractive energy. You've reached a level of self-mastery, even with the pain you've had to endure, even with the discipline appointment, even with someone trying to play you uh, because they didn't see your worth and value initially because they was so used to people sweating them. Or maybe this is just the, the, the act, you know, that they was portraying, you know, because uh, deep down this person I feel was just very immature emotionally and deep deeply they feel this for you they feel deep passion they deep they feel deep love you know this is someone as i said they're about to implode explode this is someone who has suppressed their feelings and their emotions and when you don't express what you deeply feel one moment it's like it's just you you won't even know it'll just come out it will just blurt itself out and because you're just very fine you know, you divine, feminine, you're just over here all powerful and gorgeous and attractive and abundant and successful and creative and just victorious. It's like this person's passion is intensifying. It's like when they see you again, they're just going to swoop you up. They're going to dive. They're going to give you a dip. They're going to dip, baby, dip. Like they just, they're just going to take you in their arms. Like I said, somebody just wants to ravish you. You know what I'm saying? Like they just want to ravish you. Why is this teaching and learning here for my divine feminine energy? They have a message of love and light. I definitely feel there was an issue. You, you just want to be happy. Like you, you're happy now. You're in a very happy space. You know, you're not allowing, like I said, anybody to come in and interrupt that. You have to excuse me because when I start channeling, my nose begins to itch like crazy. And as I explained before, it's like literally, it feels like somebody has a feather and they're just like tickling my nose. It gets very intense as I channel. So just pardon me. I may have a message of love and light for teaching and learning. Why is teaching and learning here, spirit? I have a message of love and light for my divine feminines. The yin energy, please, for the collective. We have a message of love and light. Thank you. Wow, that shot out of there. And we got playfulness. So they don't want you to be so serious. When this person comes in, they want you to be open. See that? Codependency. Y'all had to learn to be independent. This is what you had to learn. We have teaching and learning. And I mentioned codependency. In order for you to be independent and in this energy of self-sufficiency and power, you had to break free from somebody that was codependent on you. Somebody that was trying to take control. That's why leadership showed up because that was one of the first lessons. That was what you had to um, do. You had to take control of a situation and not allow someone to control you. And I feel like as you took control, as you made it your business, 
to work on yourself and to not focus on another person. I feel like that's what exposed this person, um, you know, this this karmic, you know, for who they truly were. Because we see here it says addictions are affecting your romantic life. So you could have been dealing with somebody who had some sort of uh, drug addictions, maybe sex addictions. You'll be surprised. There's masculines out here that be spending all kinds of money on porno, on like sex um, channels. And, you know, I mean, it, 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 it could become very addictive and somebody could have had some sort of addictions. And those addictions could have led them to being uh, promiscuous, you know bumping into incubus energy succubus energy out there and that could have definitely caused um you know some sort of of um discourse within a relationship i just saw 444 because it was 442 so two two so spirit was definitely nudging you and and and, and like shaking you almost to pay attention to the red flags because there was a lot of red flags i feel like y'all for a long time was giving someone the benefit of the doubt and you can see how the sun is rising here something came to light something was illuminated you know, and I feel like initially it broke your heart, but your heartbreak led you to this spiritual journey and path. That's why you're now in your divine feminine energy, because you did the necessary work to heal that self. And so we have um, Eugene Wilde, got to get you home tonight. So, yeah, somebody was definitely, um, you know, a, a sex addict, I feel, because with got to get you home tonight, like this is somebody who was definitely like, um, you know, trying to just lay with anyone, just laying with the like just birds, just nasty, dirty birds, you know, didn't have any type of no shame in their game, to be honest, like when, you, you know, this is somebody who could have been like, you know, an alcoholic, a, you know, somebody who drank a lot, smoked a lot, who was very dependent on some sort of drug, maybe they, you know, get a drink and, and that's like their liquid courage and they would just go out, go to bars, go to clubs, go hang out with their homeboys and then they would just pick up random women. Got to get you home tonight. So they was just taking broads to the hotel, you know, maybe some of y'all found some sort of hotel key, you know, in the car, in the uh, glove compartment of your vehicle, you found a hotel key. Maybe you found some earrings. I'm seeing like a woman's earring in the um, seat of the um, in the back seat of a car. And I'm seeing like a female planted there. So it's like they wanted that masculine to get caught. So if you feminines um, and I'm even seeing like condoms, like somebody was having sex in the car. Like I'm, I'm picking up on that. Like somebody was having sex. They was violating the vehicle that you shared with another person. Like they was in the back seat bumping uglies with some duck ass broad. That's just what I'm picking up. Got to get you home tonight. Like this person was uh, sexually addicted. And this was somebody who was like, you know, they, they couldn't even keep it up for you. But they popping pills and doing all kind of stuff like um, what's those pills that men have to take just so that they could keep a hard on. And, 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 and this is what they was doing, you know. So they had these addictions. And I feel like the drinking is why they had – uh, difficulty keeping a heart on. But you have evolved from this. Whatever heartbreak you felt, you no longer feel that no more. That's why we have this compassion because I feel like you've learned to forgive. You you smiled and forgave them all. Even the ones that did you dirty, it's like they whatever they did to you, they're getting it back, you know, karma, you know, through karma, you know. And I feel like a lot of y'all responded the right way. Like you, you did not try to seek revenge. You weren't... a vengeful like I said you weren't scorned or bitter like you simply just kept it moving you detached focused on yourself and that's why you're going to be rewarded that's why you're being rewarded that's why this person is now looking at you as a superstar that's why they're looking at you as the star as someone who's had some some major growth spurt you've evolved and so we have playfulness here so now you've learned to, you know, be more lighthearted, you know, because maybe you always had to be on guard when you was dealing with that overbearing person, you know, that person that was codependent. You couldn't trust yourself with this person. You couldn't trust your heart with them. That's why I was picking up some of you feminines like in a masculine energy, because it's like you had to take on a lot of the masculine responsibilities, things that the masculine should be taking care of around the household, like the bills or, you know, and not to say, you know, I don't want to get in gender roles but I mean the way I grew up 
around the elders it's like my grandmother worked yes but the masculine that's their role is to to provide for the family to protect the family and i feel like a lot of you feminines couldn't trust or depend upon that masculine energy so it's like they were more dependent on you it's like they was looking for you to 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 pick up you know their slack and then some and so in and when you are constantly um, being pulled and tugged in 50 different directions, um, that's going to wear you down, you know, and, and, and that all of that femininity that you should be, you know, really radiating, it's, it's going to kind of go, um, it's going to kind of like disappear and dissipate because you're, you're not able to embrace that energy because you're not with a masculine that's, um, that's nurturing that, you know, and so with this playfulness, I feel like now with this completion, somebody that has completed their karmic cycle, who has learned some sort of lessons, same person that is matching your vibration in terms of learning, healing, growing, maturing, evolving, ascending, they are coming in with a very playful energy. And I feel like this is what's going to allow you to get back into your femininity. You know, it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so spirit wants you to be youthful you know be more risky daring care less you know about the results the outcome not saying be reckless but just care less you know stop you know let go of the reins a little bit surrender to the divine trust that it's already all right you know what i'm talking about so we got playfulness here why is completion that's on the bottom of the deck though so let's see we got optimistic singing i mean sounds of uh blackness and this is called optimistic so you definitely have been more optimistic you know you're, you're looking forward to what's to come you know you're no longer fearful all right thank you spirit and we got honeymoon here on the bottom of the deck so you are about to enter into the phase of a new relationship because when I think of honeymoon, I'm not thinking of just marriage and then you go on a honeymoon. I'm thinking of the honeymoon phase of a relationship. So spirit was just saying, be playful. So in that honeymoon phase, you're going to be more playful. You're going to let your guard down. You're going to be more receptive and open. And this is because you have, you know, that cycle where you had to be so guarded and so defensive and, and have all these boundaries and restrictions. It's like now there's like this woosah. You could just kind of let go and let God and trust and it says worth waiting for this came right back out so that's why you completed a cycle because whatever was destined it's coming in that's what you was waiting for you was waiting for this this divine masculine to return so they had to complete a cycle they had to learn their lessons the same way that you had to learn yours you both have been you know mirroring one another you know, this 6-6 six, six is showing me that the healing process is not only done on your part, but whoever you're attracting to you. And that's why you, you know, I feel like you're attracting them to you because you've remained hopeful, optimistic. You never doubted that that's what you deserved. You know your birthright. You know you're deserving. You're lovable. You know, so it's like you're open to it. And so that's why you're going to have this beautiful, profound uh, connection, chemistry, synergy with a person. There's going to be this just this person that is destined to be in your life. And I feel like a lot of you all may have manifested this person because when I think of optimistic, I keep hearing the word hope. And then I see the star card in the body of water pouring water. And it's like you have in some ways created, co-created or manifested. You set the intention and spirit is bringing it in. So this person is like destined to be in your life. And this is someone you're going to have like this brand new beginning, this new start. This honeymoon, it says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this person could very well, you know, uh, you may have a solar return that's coming up or maybe this person is just going to take you on a trip. This person is going to be very, um, very thoughtful, very mindful. You know, they're going to be very good with surprises. You know, they could just come home or come one day once you get into a connection, a very close, because I feel a closeness with you and this person because it says domestic harmony. So it's like this person is going to get very familiar with what it is you like, what it is you, you know, what it is you have on your to do list, your vision board. Maybe they see your vision board and they see pictures of places you desire to go, um, things you desire to have. And they're going to be very, very um, attentive and, and, and very um thoughtful in that way they may treat you to you know some sort of beautiful uh you know trip overseas 
you know, take you to some very romantic space, you know, spot in Italy or Paris. And, and, you know, they might pop a question right here. You know what I'm talking about? Like, and this is something you've manifested, someone you've manifested. This is beautiful. Why is domestic harmony here? May I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. So it says, stay optimistic about your love life. And remember, we got sounds of blackness singing optimistic. So as I said, because you've remained hopeful, because you've sent up those prayers, petitions, because you've asked your angel spirit guide and team and because you've sent intention, that's why this love is coming in. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And we got sounds of blackness singing optimistic. And you know me, I like to show and prove. Check it out. Optimistic right there. Can't make that up. And the card says, stay optimistic. So you staying optimistic, hopeful, and maintaining a positive mindset is the reason why this person is coming in. Just as I said, I was seeing that star. And the star remains hopeful regardless of what they've been through, regardless of all they've endured in their past. They're not allowing that baggage to keep them stuck or keep them bound or energetically in a space where they can't move forward. So you, you freed yourself. Oh, my. I'm done. You freed yourself from that, that toxic ex because that person was kind of binding you, keeping you bound and stuck, stagnant, you know, because they were codependent on your energy, codependent on you because you were very powerful. But you freed yourself from that because that person was blocking you, dimming your light, blocking your blessings, blocking opportunities. It says it's time to take back control of your life. And that's what I was feeling. Like somebody was trying to control your life, taking the reins from you and saying, no, you're going to do it this way. Overbearing my way or the highway. This could have been a husband, a wife. This could have uh, been, you know, a parent, but somebody was just like feeling like they were in control, but you still showed love and compassion to that person. And this is another reason why you have blessings coming in because spirit saw that you did not stoop down to their level and you didn't get dirty you didn't have to you let your ancestors your angels deal with that person but your compassion your lack of judgment you know and your trust in the most high and your obedience is what led to you now being free you freed your dome also because i feel like that person really had you mind up for a long time by gaslighting you and we got five, 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 that's 20, that's two. So you had to learn to not allow someone to have you all confused and conflicted mentally. Five, 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 five is 20. So that 20 reduces to two. So you got into that high priestess energy where you started to trust your own intuition. You started to use your own discernment. And when you did, you started to realize like, yo, this person is broken. Just like I once was. This person is broken. And that's why you started to show compassion because you realized like they, they was like they was wounded, you know, they was damaged just like anyone else who's walking around out here. Like we're all damaged. We are all walking around with PTSD. I don't care what nobody say because we've all experienced some level of trauma in our lives, you know. And so that's what you started to realize. Like, let me show compassion in this world, you know, because that's all you wished someone would show you when you was going through it. And so you're not going to turn around and treat somebody worse than that. So 56, 56, that's why love is coming in for you because you freed yourself from that toxic ex, that karmic, you know, you cut the soul tie. You learned the lesson. You healed that self. You love that self. Now you know that self. And now that you know that self, your love language, everything is going to start. You're going to start attracting everything that you desire. Why is compassion here? We have a message of love and light. Why is compassion? Thank you, spirit. And it says getting to know each other. See that? So now you're going to get to know someone else. You're going to get to know someone better, I should say. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And how do you reveal your innermost selves to another person unless you discover your innermost self? You got to get to know you first before you can try to introduce yourself to anyone else. Or else you're just introducing some old representative. But this is what you had to do. You had to figure who you were out first and when you do that 57 57 12 12 that's three six this person is going to come in 
that person is going to come on in they're going to swoop in and the two of you are going to have some dialogue there's going to be a conversation and we have shaba rank saying in telephone love so somebody's going to call you on the phone and you both are going to have a real honest transparent conversation whomever this person is whether this is a person that you've known from your past and you both have kind of um, lost contact this could be someone you could have uh, befriended an associate uh, someone you could have dated for a short period of time uh, and then you lost contact disconnected detached from that person because of some other um, factors in the connection but I feel like when you two reconnect because I feel like this person is coming back because they realize you're the one that got away I feel both of you all were learning lessons healing from those toxic karmic relationships um, separate from one another and now that you both have been healing thyselves um, through the act of patience because patience is a form of action so as you patiently healed yourselves worked on yourselves now the person can come in because they've been doing their work as well and so you're going to get to know this person the real them not this egotistical person not this person that was walking around trying to act heartless careless that person that you couldn't really trust you know too much you couldn't really trust this person or trust um what they said because what they said and what they showed you was two different things uh, but I feel like you also was carrying around baggage that's why the teaching and learning is here because you also were learning lessons you also you weren't ready for this connection that's why patience is is really showing up as well you know and self-discipline is just underneath that so you had to heal yourself you had your own work to do you know you had your own work you had your own healing your own growing up to do as well and that's why the six six is their healing because both of you, you and the person you're attracting to you ladies, you know, they're going to be very flirtatious. You're going to be very interested, very attracted. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. Let's get some messages from the melanated deck. So we have ten of wands and the four of wands. See that? So you had to release something that was very burdensome. And I feel someone else is also releasing something that's very burdensome. And that 10 will rec reduce to 1. So this is definitely that person that was carrying around a lot of baggage, you know. Um, maybe this was in pertinence to a marriage, a relationship, a connection. Someone they lived with, they felt overburdened. This could even be your energy because we do see codependency here with the Divine Feminine um, 57. So this could definitely be somebody who um, was taking you for granted. Look at that. As soon as I said Divine Feminine, this was you. So this is what you was doing. You learned to love you more because you was giving to everybody else all freely, all willingly, because that's what a divine feminine does. She takes care of the family, the household, very domestic, very loving, very nurturing. But when you don't take the time to love yourself, somebody could take advantage of you. And I feel like what you did was you finally released that person that was codependent on you. This is the same energy as this. If you look at these two cards, the depiction of those two cards, codependency and the empress. I'm trying to pick up the card. Come here. So you see that? It says codependency and then teaching and learning. And then we have this energy. This is the codependency. Somebody who got you carrying all the responsibilities, handling all the business. You know what I'm saying? And and you're supposed to be the divine feminine. How are you going to be feminine in this energy where you're carrying around all of the burdens of the responsibility um, of the relationship, rather? And so that's when you finally said, OK, I, I got to I got to keep it pushing, you know, and, and you could very well be because we got Q-tip. This is called the Renaissance, the name of the album. Um, so I feel like you very well could have been like that Renaissance woman. Cause that's what an empress is. Like I said, she births new realities, new ways of thinking. She creates, she's the divinity of the divine feminine is to create, to birth new life. And so, yes, you could be a Renaissance woman, but that doesn't mean this is what you want to be doing all the time. You don't want to be in any type of partnership relationship where you're the main responsible party of the relationship. Like what, what, what? Absolutely not. That's why you turned your back. He was like, I can't do that. I might as well, if I'm going to do all of that, I'm going to do it by myself. I, I'll be by myself and do all of that, but I'm not going to do it. See that? Somebody had a freaking whole mistress on the side. Whole mistress. And this is why they was looking in a different direction because they got caught up in some sort of succubus, incubus type of connection. And they was dealing with this mistress that was demanding, you know, their time and energy. So that's why they was doing the bare minimums for you. 
because they was exhausted. They was spread. They spread themselves thin. They bit off more than they could chew because that mistress was demanding. They could have got with somebody that was doing love spells, trying to break up the relationship and was successful in breaking it up. And then once they got them, they started treating that masculine like crap. You know, and that's why I was picking up on somebody going through some sort of karma because you didn't even pay it any attention. It was like, okay, you want to go fly, beloved. I'm not going, I'm not going to like force you to stay here. I'm not begging you. You want to go out there and, and, and go catch a, a spiritual transmitted disease? By all means, please do so. But you wasn't sitting there begging and crying and pleading for them to stay. You want to go, go. That's what you said. And while they were gone in their absence, this is what you did. You was growing, learning, evolving, maturing, ascending. And now a lot of y'all are just in such a powerful energy right now. All right, so look what's on the bottom of the deck still, the Ten of Wands. So this is what this person was absolutely, this is why you couldn't trust them. Because it's like, how can you trust someone who is sitting around watching you do all of this? You know, how does somebody love you and have you carrying all of the weight, all of the burdens on your shoulders? And you're supposed to be the divine feminine. And it's because this person was very egotistical and proud. And this is that energy of somebody that was trying to be controlling as well. You can't be controlling doing nothing. How are you going to control stuff and you're not even contributing? And so how could you even trust this person if they got you feeling like this? That's why I said a lot of y'all was in a masculine energy. And if you look at this card, this is a masculine energy here, you know, that's carrying the wands. But of course, the you know, energy is... Um, you know, you, the, the card could depict as a feminine or masculine, but I was just picking up strongly like the feminine was in a masculine energy because they had to pick pick up the slack from this this old, you know, proud, egotistical, you know, immature person they was dealing with karmic. You know, how you want to trust this person if they sitting around watching you struggle and then they still coming in expecting ish and taking ish and then going off and giving it to somebody else time and energy look at that look at her ass sitting here as i'm talking about taking ish this is somebody that they thought they could have thought they loved this person and as i said it's because this this energy here she's very attractive but she's not you you a divine feminine you know she want to be you <laughs> that's what this mistress wants to be you you know what I'm saying? She wants to be the main one. She wants to be, you know, six, you know, just as abundant and as powerful. But you can never, uh, you know, succeed if you're operating from a very low vibration. You're not going to be successful. I mean, you can dupe a couple of people, but whatever they was expecting with this mistress, it didn't work out in that fav in their favor because this mistress was just as demanding, overbearing, cunning, manipulative as their ass. You attract what you are. So she gave this fool a headache. This is what we got here. Look at this. Codependency. Somebody had some addictions. Didn't I mention sexual addictions? And then this queen of wands, which is typically known as the mistress. You know, a lot of people depict her as the mistress. And I do feel in this regard because of what I was picking up and channeling intuitively. That's exactly what it was. This taught you to love yourselves more. You can't keep on, you know, pouring into, you know, somebody that is not pouring into you. You know, and we have a Mel LaRosa and I and I, and the name of the album is Infinite Possibilities. Infinite Possibilities is you realizing that you have infinite possibilities. I don't have to sit around and, and, and uh, wait around for somebody to figure out my worth and value or to appreciate me. You know, I got infinite possibilities out here. That's you discovering and realizing I am lovable. I deserve what I put out there, whatever I'm given my divine masculine, I should expect to receive that. And you wasn't even dealing with no divine masculine. You was dealing with a child. You was dealing with somebody who was very childish and very immature. So why is 57 teaching and learning codependency here for my divine feminines? My yin energy may have a mas message of love and of light spirit. Why is teaching and learning here? Thank you. Wow. So two cards flew and landed on the teaching and learning and this i'm going to use these two cards landed on the uh, 46 domestic harmony and stay optimistic so i'm gonna keep them face down like they flew out but i'm gonna pick up these cards to see what it is so we got the two of wands and then we have the six of swords didn't i mention the six of swords where you moved away from somebody and now somebody is making it uh some sort of um decision to come towards you it's like somebody realizes like the world, I feel like there's definitely um, some distance, but someone is making a decision. They're, de they're choosing you now. 
Maybe in the past they was indecisive, confused, conflicted. Now they're looking directly at you, you know, because y'all have moved on. Like I said, y'all wasn't perturbed. Y'all wasn't bothered. You wasn't going to sit there begging nobody for nothing. You don't see my worth and value. All right, you'll lose my game. I'll have less people to, 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 to take care of. You know what I'm talking about? Like you was taking care of them, taking care of your children, taking care of yourself. And, and, and it's like they was doing barely nothing. So you moved your ass right on away from that. You, you, you left all that, that, that one sidedness, you know, this person that was all codependent on you, on your energy, you know, needing ish, asking for ish, wanting ish, but doing nothing. So now there's someone new, someone coming in. This is somebody making a decision. This is somebody who could have been in a relationship in the past and they finally completed that cycle. You can see here it's locked down this wand. So there's no more indecision. There's no more fork in the road. They're making a conscious decision to come to you. There's distance, but this person thinks the world of you. And I feel more importantly, whoever this is that's coming toward you, they want to give you the world. This is somebody that wants to offer you the world. Someone that is looking at this situation like, damn, I had an opportunity to offer Scorpio the world and I, I I was you know I was trapped I was caught up in something but they're no longer trapped they've turned their back they're walking in their strength in their faith and they got all this passion pent up all this love and they're ready to come towards you because they're attracted to you and they love everything about you we got wake up and live by Bob Marley so this person finally woke up and saw the light like they realized like they got to go after what they want if there was any doubt, any decision, they're no longer confused because now they're coming towards you very passionately. Remember, I saw that um, Blackbirds and um, it was Mysterious Vibes. And I was saying like they were taking action and I was trying to show you uh, the title of the album or the name of the album. And, it, you know, the light was all jacked up. But this is them taking action. This is them coming towards you very intentionally. Like I said, they thought about this long and hard. And one thing they can't shake is the synergy and the chemistry you all had together. And this person is very in love. And so we see here the seven of cups. This is why they was confused. This is why they had to go through this, you know, this karmic uh, cycle, this, this completion of, you know, this karmic cycle. Maybe they was used to having a lot of suitors, a lot of offers. They could have been very, um, you know, as I said, egotistical. You know, this could this could, you know, boost anybody's ego. This can have some anybody's ego inflated when they got all these options, when they feel like they got the pick of the litter, literally. You know what I'm saying? But whatever they chose, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. You know what I'm saying? They realized with you, you're the one. You're the one that got away. You're the one they had the most chemistry. You're the one they had that synergy with. You're the one that stimulated them. You're the one that was most attractive to them. They found you to be more attractive than any of the rest. And that's why they're looking at this situation. And that's why they were sitting here planning and preparing and trying to truly figure it out. Like, dang, what, how do I do this? What do I say? You know what I'm talking about? Like this person is really sitting around pondering and they have that aha moment, that epiphany. And there is distance. And I see one, 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 one on the clock just now. And so what was that? And that's five. So this person definitely has been learning some lessons. Five is the hierophant. And that's also the throat chakra. Remember, we just had Shaba Rank singing Telephone Love. So that person is definitely going to uh, communicate and express their attraction, their love towards you. This is somebody that has been waiting for a long time to confess this, to communicate, to express this. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. And if both of you were tied up in karmic relationships, that's the reason why divine timing was at play, because you both had to complete those cycles that's why I was feeling like this is a destiny type of love that you're attracting to you because it's like everything that you all had to go through before you come into union into alignment with this person it's because y'all had to complete those cycles y'all had to complete whatever that karmic cycle was and that's why completion came out and we already know you completed the cycle because you coming out as the divine feminine and as you heal and grow you healing you know you're healing and, and activating and triggering your divine masculine at the same time because you all are connected spiritually, soulfully, you know. So the seven of cups is absolutely showing me. Yep. See that seven of cups and the eight of cups is right underneath that. So somebody is definitely going to walk away from all those options that they they thought were good options because, you know, the grass was in green on the other side. We got the sirens going off in the background. So there was definitely there's some sort of um, there's some sort of hostility they're going through something, you know, with a karmic ex. 
there's like, you know, maybe there was some secrets. Someone, someone was presenting themselves in a certain way, in a certain light, and something came to light. I feel like somebody was putting in and investing a lot in a connection and they, they didn't get what they uh, was, was expecting. So what is, um because I'm picking up like the seven, you know, the seven of pentacles where you're putting all that time and energy into something, you know, in addition to the seven of cups, that's like thinking you got, you know, you got it made, thinking the grass was greener and it was just plastic. It was a superficial and artificial. The person was not who they thought this th that they were going to be. It became more stressful, you know. So why is um, completion waiting worth waiting for here? Why is completion and worth waiting for here for my divine feminines? They have a message of love and light for the yin energy spirit. And we got Mary J. Blige singing all that I could say. So all this person can say is, uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. You know, I apologize maybe because they feel like they hurt you or maybe because they feel like they um, didn't choose you. They feel foolish. You know, they, they're feeling a little foolish, you know, but um, all that they can say is they apologize. I feel with worth waiting for divine timing was at at hand as well see that what did i say they're going to come in and say i apologize the knight of cups is here so they're going to extend an apology an olive branch they're going to express to you you know perhaps some of the things that they've had to go through in that relationship and they're going to be very honest i feel they're coming in honestly you know coming in very um transparent you know and we do have a siren going off like crazy so this could shock you, you know, and we have the death card here as well. So the death is showing your transformation that you've exp um, experienced. You know, you've gone through enormous change. You've had sudden upheavals, but I feel like this person is recognizing uh, your transformation, your growth. You know, you've had a startling metamorphosis. I feel this person is also experiencing some startling metamorphosis. They're very attracted to you, but they're unsure of how you're going to receive them of the reception they're going to have. So they're a little apprehensive. So why is, um, so let's see what these cards were. And we got the death here. So, you know, that represents endings. That represents completions. Remember, the completion is here. So I was mentioning that somebody's wrapping up some sort of karmic cycle, a lesson, learning something or has learned something because they've changed and evolved. And this is all about transformation. This is all about, you know, that rebirth reincarnating as someone in your power now you know not being you know because the, the the flesh is weak the flesh is weak so somebody you know that's it, very egotistical and proud that got a little uh you know a little uh frazzled by having all those options with the seven of cups you know that could have cost them you know that ace of cups which was you and so that's why they're coming in like this very very apologetic remember i said all that i could say is plain so all that they could say is i'm sorry i apologize you know i was foolish this is just like them owning up to what they may have done and remember this is not a karmic ex this is not no toxic ex i'm picking up on someone that you could have dated someone that you've always had some strong attraction connection synergy with but the relationship never went anywhere y'all just remain friends you lost contact this person gonna pop back up on the grid because they have some feelings and so we got the page of swords somebody's definitely watching you keeping tabs i spy they got all of your social media information they watching you on all platforms this person could have done some background checks I'm hearing. This person has picked up, like they've been doing some Google searches to find out where you are located because maybe you relocated and moved out of the state or out of, you know, that particular area. So they like doing Google searches, paying money to, to find your address, your phone number. Like this is somebody that's really on it and they're ready and prepared to say, I apologize because this sword is up. You know, this is somebody that's doing their research because this page of swords, they do their due diligence. They are research uh, experts. You know what I'm saying? You want to find something? This is like that that uh, that uh, private eye. You know what I'm saying? They could have hired a private eye, to be honest with you. And this is because, like, they, they truly feel like you're the one. You're the one that got away. You know, they feel like you are that twin. You are their soulmate. We saw soulmate come out soon as I cut the deck. With the romance angels. See that? What did I say? I can't make this up. Star. If you are what you say you are. A superstar. Then have no fear. 
That's what, what that's what was playing. Didn't I tell y'all this person sees you as a star? This person has literally watched y'all transform. This person has literally watched y'all transform into the divine feminine. You wasn't playing no games. You turned your back on whatever buffoonery, whatever foolery anybody was doing. And you focused on the self as you should, beloved. And, and now they're learning from you. You bared your soul like you gave them everything or you gave that karmic ex everything and they did not appreciate or value it. And you're just here healing thyself. And remember, we have stay optimistic. Didn't I mention like y'all was very hopeful, optimistic. That's what the star is all about. You sending up prayers, petitions, you co-creating with source, with universe, you're manifesting your desired outcome. You know what I'm talking about? Like you're not sitting around here crying and complaining about stuff. You're sitting here, you're getting busy. You're setting intention. You're the alchemist. You know what I'm saying? This is the great I am. That's that energy. You're co-creating with source. You're setting your intention. You know as above, so below, as within, so without. And as you can see here, you're co-creating. So a lot of you all have been very successful in whatever it is that you all have been doing, whether that is like within your careers, even if in your singlehood, you have grown, you've matured. It's like you all have really um, owned your power. And that has made you even more attractive. You turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower and you turned your pain into power, more importantly. And that's why you're seen as a star. That's why you're more attractive because you didn't turn bitter. You got better. You know, you didn't become a scorned person. You became that star. And we just heard star singing uh, by, you know, um, star by uh, Lupe Fiasco. I can't make this up, y'all. And we got mental notes singing, I is your I. And so mental notes, I feel like this person, as I said, up in your head, they're constantly up in their head thinking of you, trying to figure out how to do this, how to come toward you, how to apologize, especially because they see you as a star. It's almost like they're starstruck. You know, they're in awe. They're also intimidated because you're coming off as this divine feminine. You know your worth and value. So that's why they've been doing a little bit of healing and growing themselves. They're trying to catch up to y'all. They don't want to let y'all go. My nose is itching like crazy. Oh my God, it's so t it's so itchy. So with this death card here, your transformation, your rebirth triggered someone. It triggered and activated them. And that's why they're coming in apologetic, baby. They're coming straight towards you too. They're coming straight towards you. This person can't stop thinking about you, can't stop looking at you. They're watching you. Like I said, I feel like this person is like watching you online, you know, and they're trying to strategize how to come towards you, how to, to do the right thing. Like they want to come in the right way. So why is this 9-9 nine, nine compassion and getting to know each other better? Because I do feel like there's communication coming, y'all. Y'all don't realize it, but this person is going to communicate. Let me get one more message uh, for my beloved Divine Feminine because I didn't even ask for this. Um, I did ask, but I didn't. I wasn't ready because I was still in mid-sentence. So why is this 9 compassion and getting to know each other here, let me get one more message from my beautiful divine feminine yin energy spirit. Thank you. Okay, they gave me three, four. See that rushing in communication. They feel a sense of urgency. Like I said, with mental notes, like they could be like rehearsing what they're going to say. They could be like practicing, trying to figure out what to say, you know, to you. Look at that. This is what they see when they see you wifey material you're grounded balanced aligned very successful i was picking up on somebody you know if you do invite them like say for instance you do have this conversation and they do say you know however they feel you may invite them over and when they come to your home they're going to be in awe because you have like a very you know um lavish place like you keep a very sacred space it's a very welcoming very inviting um sacred space and this person is just very much in awe but they see you as very independent very self-sufficient you're very sturdy you know like you're grounded you're down to earth like they could talk to you about anything under the sun moon and stars and remember we saw that 74 so they could see you as wifey material we also saw a honeymoon so it's like this person wouldn't mind coming in and offering you something stable because they know that you're standing on your own you don't really need them but they want to offer you something real something solid they want longevity. They want to build a family, a nucleus. They want to build a real strong connection with you because this is somebody that is going to take you serious this time around. That's why the conversations are going to be deep. You know, this person wants to get to know everything about you. It's going to be very stimulating. 
And it's because you both are being honest, you're being open and you're being transparent with compassion. You're not judging the other person, you know, and when you're not judging, you're not judging the person for the past. You're not judging them, you know, for what they may do, uh, what they may have done in the past. If this is someone, you know, this is just like you're, you're starting off. I'm hearing clean slate. And some of y'all are going to say yes when this person invites y'all uh, or when this person asks you to, um, you know, take the relationship a little further. You're going to say yes because we got Beyonce singing yes. So the spirit is also telling you surrender, say yes. If this person invites you out or if they, you know, if they um, come back around, see that seven of pentacles. So this is like, you know, all of the energy and time that you put in, that you invested in something. And for a long time, you felt like, you know, disappointed because you put so much into it. But spirit is taking note of everything that you did, all the work that's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. And it has because you have the queen of pentacles. So your hard work absolutely paid off. It didn't you didn't work hard for nothing. You know, spirit acknowledged. That's why you're successful right now. That's why you're going to get a yes answer to whatever you are, uh, whatever it is you're going through right now with the outcome. Like, say, for instance, some of you all, if you've been. Say, for instance, you've been, you know, waiting for someone to come uh, back into your life, you know, um, spirit is saying it's a yes answer that it's going to go um, into it's going to develop into something deeper. If you've been looking for a job, if you've been looking to get a promotion, there's going to be a yes answer. According to Beyonce, you have a yes answer. Hierophant, some of you all are getting married to this person. And I feel somebody has been also like seeking wise counsel, higher learning, you know, maybe learning, reading spiritual doctrines, watching spiritual master teachers. You know, but this is somebody who's been, you know, under the studentship of a master teacher, a pastor, a spiritual practitioner, healer, shaman, light worker, sitting at the feet of that person, even an elder within their family, a maternal or paternal figure. And there's an, a yes answer. Somebody, like I said, may ask you all to marry them. They may ask you to be their wife and you're going to say yes. Six of cups. I told you all somebody from your past. This is somebody from your past is returning. This person definitely has love. This person definitely, you know, if you look at this grade um, depiction here, you know, you could see this X. It looks like somebody chose a different direction in the past. This is like that fork in the road. Do I go towards Scorpio? I said Scorpio. Do I, so some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. Do I go towards, um, you know, my divine mem feminine or do I go in a different direction? Somebody chose another direction. The way this is all grayed out shows this was the past. So this is what they chose, but it didn't turn out the way they anticipated. And so now they're, they're turning, they're turning around to come back. This is someone returning to you. This is someone wanting to reunite somebody who ha is apologetic. They're going to give you flowers. They may gift you with a bouquet of flowers, roses, lilies, peace lilies. Like they're going to give you some sort of token of their love, of their, you know, uh, remorse, you know, like they're giving you a token of their, uh, for, they want you to forgive them. So this is a token of their forgiveness. Thank you, spirit. And that's why they're coming in, you know, very apologetic because they know that they made the wrong decision. I was picking up on somebody who, you know, had something else going on as did you though, you know, and that's why spirit is saying, say yes, because your, your, your hands weren't clean either. Like meaning, um, you still had some work to do as well. And that's why both of y'all have that 66 healing. See this expectation. Y'all are expecting this person because that two patients is showing me like, you know, y'all, y'all are patiently waiting because maybe you already feel it. As I said, this person sends y'all messages telepathically. So you could be picking up on them energetically. You could feel them coming closer because in the feminine energy that I did last week, uh, you know, it was like you was picking up on this person's energetic energy. See that adjudication. Someone's get, getting a divorce. They're leaving an ex. They're parting ways with an ex. That's why you have completion here. Somebody is wrapping up a karmic cycle. So they are absolutely mirroring your energy. See that main female. Someone is leaving an ex because they feel like you're the one that got away. You're the one. And we have de la soul, I know. So just as I said, y'all know because y'all are intuitive. Y'all are picking up on this energetically. You taught this person the value to not only like love thyself, because when you love thyself, you're going to be real with you. 
And I feel like when you walked away and didn't look back, didn't sweat, didn't, you know, you didn't go crazy. Um, you just continue to work on yourselves. I feel like if this person was spying and watching you, which I do feel, which is the, the, the person coming in, if they were watching you, they've literally watched you transform. You've emerged as someone completely different. You know what I'm talking about? So this person was like inspired by you in so many ways because you were teaching them at the same time you were learning. And so that's why they're in awe. That's why they're making a decision. Whatever they had that was locking them down before, they, they're making a, a, a very conscious decision. And as I said, there could be distance. And that's why they're willing to travel to you. That's why they're going to pay you a visit. And we got this courthouse. So this is justice. You know, I feel like justice, this is a part of your justice. This is like a part of karma dharma. You know, this was definitely somebody who had to perhaps get like some sort of divorce, separation. You know, maybe they had to leave um, a home because they were sharing a home. And remember, we did have that domestic harmony. So maybe that is speaking to the lack of harmony within a relationship and something had to end. And it did end rather. And now somebody has some sort of brand new beginning and start. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. We're going to clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. And then I'm going to do the yang energy next. See what's coming in for the masculine energy. All right. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful divine feminine energy. My yin energy may have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Bottom of the deck, we're clarifying the 19 pride, trust, and the 10 of wands, and we have a message. What did I say? This person is going to reach out to you. This is somebody that now is mustering up the strength, the courage to come towards you because they do want a new start. They're going to swallow their pride. This is somebody that's going to be very assertive this time around. They're mustering up the confidence. Remember, telephone love. We got a telephone there. This person may ring you. As I said, I felt like somebody was researching, investigating, trying to find someone's number or someone's address, someone's information. They're going to find it and they're going to send you a message. There's a message coming in from someone that you have not spoken to in a while. And it's because somebody was in a relationship with 21. They're now ended. That relationship has ended. They've learned valuable lessons. They're seeing things clearly. I feel you've also completed some sort of cycle. And that's why you're now seen as someone very wise, very in tune, very evolved. You've grown. You've come into your own. You have a deeper, more profound understanding of life. And remember that world. So this person thinks the world of you. There is travel that's required for this person to see you. And with I know, I feel like you're highly intuitive. And so we have family room. See that? So this is showing me that you had to uh, end some sort of karmic cycle, something that's come full circle, like whatever this codependency was. Uh, you obviously lived or resided with that person. That could be like a, an ex, children's mother or father, um, you know, uh, but someone that you was dealing with. And I say mother because, you know, there is same sex relationship circumstances. So I have to include that uh, scenario as well. But there is a sense that something ended. That 21 is like the world card in traditional tarot. And what's interesting is, you know, this person here is also looking at a globe whilst looking at this here. So this person, as I said, is very familiar with your story. They also knew that you were wrapping up a cycle, which is why they took their time to come toward you. And so we got Marcus Canty singing, won't make a fool out of you. So this person here is sending, you know, whatever this love, uh, whatever this letter of um, concern, this is to that X, that 14. This is to whomever they was dealing with. They received a message of concern um, or they're sending that letter of concern to someone from their past because they discovered someone was fugazi they was dealing with a fraud with won't make a fool out of you this person was made a fool of for long enough and so they're sending this letter to that that mistress to whomever they was dealing with the karmic to let them know like look it's done i'm done with you this ain't going nowhere we got the coffin here so that speaks to a death and remember the death card did show up on the bottom of the deck um earlier and this person is wealthy you know, this person's wealthy and they have something they want to offer you. So let's see, why is nine compassion worth waiting for? And the knight of cups here for my divine feminine energy. 
But this person coming towards you is not going to make a fool out of you this time around. Remember, I was picking up on the song, Gentle Calling Your Name. I feel like they were very careless, very reckless with your heart in the past. This time around, they're going to be very gentle, very caring. Um, they're not trying to make a fool out of you this time around. You know, because in trying to make a fool out of you, they only played themselves. They, you know, they were the ones foolish because they couldn't get you out of their mind. You kept it pushing. You know, yes, it hurt. Yes, it was painful. But you was you was more so focused on healing yourself and growing and, um, you know, discovering more about yourself opposed to sitting around crying and then whining over, you know, somebody from the, the past, be it the karmic, be an, it, it, an ex. So look at this victory big breakthroughs this is marriage also 25 is like somebody coming in baby for the victory for the v this person got victory on their mind success this is somebody that is very much thinking of having some sort of breakthrough with you like the conversation is going to cause a major breakthrough remember getting to know each other came out and that's what spirit is saying this is worth waiting for because i feel like this time around Especially with that seven, that's like giving me like, you know, the chariot. This is somebody coming in very balanced, very emotionally balanced as well, spiritually balanced, but also very confident, very honest. So this is someone coming in and this time around, they're not trying to play games. If you don't want to make a fool out of somebody, you're not coming in trying to play games or trying to act like you're smarter than the other person and you're trying to be manipulative and gaslighting like it's a game. Like this person's not trying to make a fool out of you. They're coming in very honest, very transparent. And that's why Spirit is saying this is worth waiting for. So you both have been waiting very patiently um, for this for this opportunity to have this dialogue. You know, and on the bottom of the deck, we got change. So this person has been changing. Remember nine compassion. This person has been slowly but surely changing and they're moving out of, you know, whatever apartment home they lived in. I was picking up on somebody leaving a home, an apartment. And if you look, this person has packed their bags. So maybe this humbled, you know, maybe you moving away or you disconnecting humbled someone. But somebody is also moving out of a situation that no longer works for them. They're not going to allow themselves to be made a fool of because they realized they was dealing with someone that was false. They was dealing with somebody that was fake, somebody that was using them perhaps for finances because we saw the wealthy man underneath the deck. So somebody could have been using them for uh, material gain. So they could have got duped themselves. Why is 46 domestic harmony? Stay optimistic. Page of swords and the star here for my beautiful divine feminine may have a message of love and light. See that bad health. This is heartbreak. Somebody definitely fell um, ill, you know, emotionally was like distraught. 31 is the four. That's the four swords. And we got Slum Village singing scheming. So someone is plotting and scheming. Didn't I say plotting and scheming? And this is a dope song. It's not plotting and scheming in a negative way. It's plotting and scheming to come in and claim what you feel is yours. Somebody is plotting and scheming to come in and, and, and express these feelings of love, of, of, of affinity, attraction. Someone is definitely heartbroken you know, missing you, thinking of you. The four is the emperor. So that's a masculine that is really heartbroken and very distraught because they're seeing you as just the star, someone beautiful, someone radiant, you know, someone who is absolutely transformed. And they're watching with plotting and scheming. That's what the page of swords does. I was picking up on a page of swords. You know, like I said, the page of swords is, is masterful in their investigative tactics. This is like that P.I., you know, they don't leave a stone unturned like they're going to find out some ish. And this person is finding your number. That's why they're going to reach out. They're going to find research information, but they're heartbroken in your absence. You know, not communicating, not speaking with you. And that's why stay optimistic is here, because this person was damn near giving up. You know, this person dreams of you so much, thinks of you so much. And it's like it, it, it pains them. You know, but they're staying optimistic, very positive. And I feel like because you're the conduit of change, because you're the co-creator, because you're the alchemist, because you're the master manifester, I feel like you remaining optimistic, you remaining hopeful, you sending up prayers and petition has absolutely, um, you know, triggered your person as well. It has helped to protect them and heal them in their journey of self-discovery. We got sudden wealth here. So you absolutely are being rewarded for the work you've done for, you know, completing those karmic cycles and lessons for healing thyself, learning to love thyself and also ultimately learning to know thyself. This is why you have, you know, the compassion here as well. 
you know, the compassion is really about you showing um, the love, you not judging other people. And that's a very ascended space. Like that's a, a space where um, master teachers function from, you know, they, they have a lot of broken people, broken souls, people who are in need of healing coming to them. And the, the, the greatest thing you could do is to show compassion to those who are in need. So you're not judging the person based off of their experiences. And I feel like that's what you all have learned to do, regardless of what pain you had to endure. It has taught you to show compassion more than anything, you know, and that's why you all are being rewarded. There's going to be some sort of stru sudden strike of um, wealth, success, I was feeling like a lot of you all, if you were applying for jobs, there was going to be a yes answer. So some of you all are going to get a pay increase, some sort of bonus. A lot of you all are getting some sort of reward. And it's because of your hard work. Like I said, you've been working very hard. You can't fake the funk. You're sitting here looking at the seven of coins like, OK, uh, you know, what's going on? When is it when is it going to really happen? When when am I going to feel fulfilled, you know? And so you're feeling very unfulfilled, but spirit is like, look, we see what's going on. And that's why you have this queen of pentacles here, because this queen of pentacles is showing that you have reached that level of self mastery because you have been doing the work. You've planted the seeds and now there's a harvest and this is coming in quickly with sudden wealth. You may attract that divine masculine. That's very well off. This person is going to see that you got your ish together and they're going to be more willing and able to come in and add on to provide you know, this is that type of person that is like, you know, they got the Midas touch. They're very domestic, very resourceful as well, you know, very practical. So why is 99 compassion getting to know each other? The seven of pentacles, queen of pentacles, the hierophant and the six of cups here for my divine feminines may have a message of love and of light. Okay. Thank you, spirit. So whatever uh, came out, I'm putting it. So what did I say? Somebody's paying y'all a, a, a visit. This is someone at a distance. They're wrapping up a cycle. You see the 10 there. So they're leaving someone behind. You can see this masculine and feminine behind back here. So somebody is making a conscious decision. They could have discovered somebody was dealing with another person. And we have the adjudication. So they're leaving someone behind. There's a marriage um, that is being dissolved. They're dissolving a marriage, dissolving a relationship, going through a divorce proceeding. And that's why they're leaving. They're, they're moving away. They're going to pay you a visit as well. This is somebody very, very passionate about you. They want to get something off their chest. I feel like this person has something to say. They've been on a spiritual journey of their own, you know, and so we have mature men. Someone's been maturing. So this same person that was sitting here all proud and egotistical spirit is saying they have matured. And that's why this person is now willing, ready and able to come back into your life. Whoever this was that you had some sort of premature. It's like it, 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 it ended before it even started. You know, and that's why I know this isn't a karmic ex. This is like somebody that you, you know, you always had a really nice um, chemistry with this person or a dope chemistry with that person. Y'all had a lot in common. Y'all would sit up and have conversations all night long, laughing, talking. Y'all would go to parties, go to concerts, go to live band shows. Like you would do a lot of things together, but you weren't together. But there was that chemistry. There was that, you know, synergy. And it's like this person has been maturing in your absence. They've been growing up. You know, and this is that same person that's making a conscious decision to come towards you because that same world is here, you know, and the Hierophant, you know, is associated with that number five. So I do feel like they were sitting at the feet of the elders, whoever they was dealing with. They was talking to the elders. They were speaking to, you know, some some wise individuals that really uh, taught them and, and really was honest with them and told them, go after what you want, which is why they're coming back, you know. And they're coming back apologetic. They're coming back to offer you something real, not just an apology. They're coming back to offer you something tangible. This person is coming back to say, look, you know, I want to marry you. I was picking up on the honeymoon phase and this person being very giving, this person being very um, thoughtful, being very um, considerate of your feelings, very devoted to the connection. So they may gift you with trips you know, abroad, they may gift you with just very thoughtful um, gifts where it's, it's like you've never had a lover that was that considerate. And it's because this person has taken the time to get to know you because they've been watching you all along. Like they've been sitting in the background being that, you know, secret admirer and you didn't even know. 
And this is somebody that really is ready and prepared to communicate to you and to express these things and to stop watching and being a spectator and to just come in and say how they feel. Um, we got Will Smith and this is called Summertime. So this will happen before the summertime is up. And I feel like the summertime is up in a couple of uh, weeks, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I believe. Uh, so it's in a couple of months, another month or so. So this will happen this summertime. This will happen. So this is your reading, beloved, divine feminine yin energy. I hope the message is resonated. I wanted to give you all a longer reading because the last reading was very short and to the point. Uh, so I wanted to do a deep on dive. I wanted to dive on deep for you. But um, this is your reading. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind and hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Please realize that that is the way that you can show love to me. Um, as I said, I put a lot of time, a lot of energy into these videos. Um, I like to give you deep dives just to give you more in-depth messages. Uh, and the way that you can rotate the love, I'm not looking for, you know, um, I'm not looking for anything other than that, that share, that like, that subscribe. It costs you nothing to hit the subscribe button. Unless you're a hater or a spectator, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. What's wrong with showing the love? You know what I'm saying? I take a lot of time out of my day to do these readings. And that is all I ask. You know, if you're here, uh, then show the love, subscribe to the channel and, and get more in depth with uh, what's going on on the side of the planet, Ashe. But um, I do want to say thank you all for tuning and tapping in until next time. I send a big old fat Ashe to you all. Peace, love and light y'all.